My name is Mike Sullivan. <coughs> I'm a former IRS agent and teaching instructor with IRS. I've worked at IRS over, God, what, a, a decade? I've worked thousands of cases, uh, thousands, maybe 10,000 cases, and I want to talk to you today about what, what the hell is a trust fund penalty? What's a trust fund penalty? Am I in trouble? Tell me as much as you can about it. So, um, what I like to do, uh, being a former IRS agent, a lot of people who put these YouTubes together do so. They've learned from working cases and they have knowledge. What I try to do is give you a very unique perspective from the inside out so you can understand how IRS looks at the case and that, that value. That adds a lot of value to you <coughs> so you understand what me, a former agent, is looking at. The, um, the trust fund penalty um, is something that people do not understand. They don't understand how it's composed. Um, you have about <coughs> pardon me, a day of training if you're an agent about the trust fund penalty. Let me explain to you uh, what this is. So when you file a 941 payroll tax return, um, it usually comprises of three things. Withholding that you withheld from the employees checks, social security that you withheld from the employees checks, and the social security that the company matched. Okay, those are three things. Two of them are money you withheld from the employee and one is that you matched. So when that is not paid, the withholding or the trust fund tax, IRS has to have a way to go ahead and collect monies that they have already usually issued in refunds. So if you cut a W-2 to a, a person and they claim the employer withheld X amount of dollars, IRS is going to fund that refund or give that person a credit. Well, in the case of companies that don't pay their trust fund taxes or the IRS has to impose this trust fund tax against an individual. So you're sitting there thinking, mm, so I've got to pay it. Yeah, you have to, in fact, pay it. So a revenue officer will come out and investigate the 941s, and they will make a determination who, in fact, was responsible. So when you look at a pure 941 tax liability, you have, there's different parts of that. The withholding that was withheld for withholding, Social Security that was withheld, which I told you about, the Social Security you match, and then there's penalties and interest. So the corporation is looking at one particular large sum debt. Now when the IRS goes to impose their will and collect the money that was held in trust, the only money that was held in trust was the withholding and one half of the Social Security. So if a company is going out of business, IRS will forgive that other portion. They will forgive the matched Social Security, and they will forgive the match penalties and the match interest. So in many cases, if you look at the total corporate debt, let's say the corporate debt is $10,000, when IRS asserts the trust fund tax against those responsible they usually will collect 60% of the total debt. So if you look at your 941 from your company and look at the withholding and you look at half of the Social Security or the money that was withheld from their check, you can come up with the trust fund portion. Now, what does IRS do once they have these figures? Well, it's then the job of the revenue officer to go out and to determine who's responsible. Usually, and I'm not going to get into a lot of detail on this, usually it's the person who wrote the checks, signed the payroll, was in charge of the company, was on the bank signature cards, had the right to hire. If you want to know the list, the checklist that IRS goes through, pull up IRS form 4180. That's the form that every revenue officer uses to make a determination. They interview people, they interview the president, the vice president, employees. Not only are they gonna take that form, that is the 4180, that'll give you a good idea of all the questions IRS will ask for responsibility purposes. They, Like I said, they're gonna pull the bank signature cards, corporate resolutions, maybe loans to banks, and find out who the main signature was. 
So this trust fund tax is going to affect you severely. When the trust fund tax, when the trust fund penalty gets assessed to you, it's like you owe 1040 taxes. So if your trust fund penalty is $6,000 that IRS will assess against you, you're going to pretend IRS is going to pretend that's like a 1040 liability. They fully go after it in full. So I just want you to know the trust fund is something that you take serious. You take very serious, but I just want you to know what it composes is the withholding and one half of the Social Security. So it's monies that you held in trust. If you have questions, please email me or uh, uh, text them to me. I'm happy to answer any questions. Uh, notific I mean, if you can, uh, subscriptions are very big. It lets me know I'm doing a good job. And believe it or not, YouTube classifies how they rate people on, on their subscriptions. So I would appreciate it. I'm happy to answer any questions if you email me about the trust fund. And Oh, yeah, but by the way, I just want you to know, just because you sign checks, that doesn't mean make you liable. Thank you.